The ancient Egyptians were responsible for this water clock which they used for recording the hours of the night. The water escaped slowly through the little hole and the time can be told by the scale of hours marked on the side. A steadily burning candle was King Alfred the Great's method of keeping time. Marked in 12 divisions, the candle took four hours to burn completely away. For hundreds of years, the sand glass has been used and is still a helpful timekeeper. This particular example is a two hour glass. Another Saxon timepiece is the sinking bowl water clock. The water leaks slowly into it through a small hole until it sinks, thus making a unit of time, in this case, one hour. The earliest clocks were used in the 13th century, but 400 years later, craftsmen such as Thomas Tompion were producing masterpieces like this Silver King, which still goes one year with one wind. And here is another elaborate tortoiseshell example, 250 years old and still running. Of the grandfather type, these two are interesting, that on the left being the property of His Majesty the King. They both only need one wind a year, and though their movements are very complicated, they're absolutely reliable. The other clock differs from the conventional in that the hour numerals are vertical instead of radiating. Quickly spanning two and a half centuries, we come to the modern giant clock which tell the time with unfailing regularity to the populations of the great cities.